everyone assalamualaikum welcome to our video so in this video we will discuss about the HACCP study plan bakery product and our product name is the peace cookies okay so presenter for this video is Muhammad Hafiz Naen Iqbal Shahmirul Afiq Irina Drah Dayang Nur Hazwani and lastly Naziratul Akmar do you want to know what it is? Okay, what we will discuss in this video is about uh, first, HACCP introduction, second, company profile, third, product description, fourth, process flow diagram, fifth, hazard analysis and critical control point, sixth, HACCP summary plan, and lastly, conclusion. For introduction, cookies is an easy to store and long lasting product that is nutritious. Basically, biscuits are made from sugar, butter, skim powder, and flour, and many ingredients. Meanwhile, we are implementing this HACCP system in order to ensure the food quality and the safety of our products. By using the farm to table approach, this HACCP is considered as the most efficient way of ensuring the food protection from A to Z. So next, uh, let me explain about the company background. The Peace Cookies Sendirian Behat is located at Kawasan Perindustrian Alu Gajah Melaka. And now, what's the history behind this company? In the company early day, uh, the cookies were distributed only locally and selling from house to house. Its first ever hot bake store was launched and opened in Shah Alam, where it has operated in a big factory in Melaka and has produced about 10,000 cookies per day. We have five variety of chocolate chip that we produce every day and then we see demonstrate unyielding commitment towards quality and food safety um, throughout the production change. Okay, uh, next is about the food safety policy. Okay, uh, our company is committed to produce a uh, safe food product following the Malaysian law, which is uh, Food Act 1980 and Food Regulation 1985. Uh, we also ensure the best practice for the Peace Cookies is developed by the following globally accepted hazard analysis critical control point which is a hazard framework and the ISO 22000 food safety management system. Okay, um, and then as you as you can see here, we have list about 8 things that we must follow and comply in order to achieve our goal. Okay, next is about the vision and mission of the Peace Cookies. Okay, so for the vision, we conduct our business with a high quality that benefits all. And our mission is to bake the best cookies ever made by using premium ingredient in every freshly baked treat, baking in clean, um, hygiene, halal and better quality product while complying with the relevant legal requirement. We guarantee our product that are not only delicious but also enjoyable. For HACCP team and their scope, first HACCP leader, their responsibility is to select HACCP team, uh, uh, chair the HACCP meeting. Next, for quality control manager, their responsibility is to conduct product descriptions, product contamination, and next, for a uh, production director, uh, their responsibility is to uh, monitor the production process. As for microbiologists, one of their responsibility is to determine which is the critical control point. For uh, maintenance responsible, they must uh, verify the technical process of machinery. As for engineer, their responsibility is to advise the team on the normal capabilities of equipment and, and on maintenance issue. For company profile, uh, we have company organization chart. Okay, we have first we have Muhammad Hafiz 
as our HACCP leader. As for quality control, we have Nurul Naziratul. And next is our production director, uh, Diana Hazwani. And for um, microbiologist, Ilina Dra. And next, for our engineer, we have uh, Shamirul Afiq. And lastly, uh, Nael Iqbal as our maintenance responsible. Product description from our company. First is what is the name and weight of your product. Chocolate chip cookies and 500 gram. How do you package your goods and what packaging material do you use for your product? In plastic film and then in carton boxes, cookies are wrapped carefully. What is the raw material and ingredients used? Liquid egg, wet flour, butter, skim milk powder, sugar, baking soda, chocolate chips and also vanilla flavor. What safety measures will prevent consumers from mishandling this product? Product that have passed the best before date can have quality defects so consumers need to alert with the best before date that had been printed on the cardboard box. What is your importance product characteristic? Ready to eat. Bake and ready to eat. What is the suitable temperature for storage? At room temperature. How long the shelf life of your product? 3 months. What is your intended use consumer of the product and who will be your target market? The product is ready to eat. The target market is the general population from the elder to the younger. What, where will the product be sold? Food services, retail, distributor and also wholesale. Next, what is information on the product label? The information is include such as uh, product name, weight, ingredients, allergen, nutrient schedule, storage and handling instruction, preferably before the date, and the contact information of the manufacturing company. What is distribution control of the product? Distribution control of our product in our company is by using a clean truck where the cookies will be shipped at the ambient temperature. Next, what are the sensitive ingredients and allergens that are present in your product? Our product contains the sensitive ingredient and allergens such as wheat, egg, and milk. Next, what is the type of the processing and any rework material involved? Mm, usually, our company does not involve any rework, rework processing. The type of processing is include the receipt of the incoming product, uh, separate the storage of the packaging material, weighing the ingredients, mixing, wire cutting process, baking, cooling, packaging, and storing. Next, do you have any traceability code for the product? Yes, our company has the traceability code for our product. For example, as stated in the slide, A1 2020, October 12th, like that. Okay, the last one is, what is your brand name? Our brand name is Peace Cookies. So today I would like to share about our flowchart of our product. Firstly, we will receive the raw material from our supplier. Secondly, we will go through the process of weighing. After that, we will go through the process of mixing to form a dough. Fourth process, that is a wire cutting process to form a shape of the cookies fifth step is the baking of cookies in our oven after that we will cool the cookies in our cooling step after that we will pack our product in packaging step finally we will store our product in our storage step Is liquid egg. This is the only raw material that we use. We found that there is a significant hazard in biological and chemical aspect except for physical aspect. Then for the sensitive material, we found that from the aspect of biological and chemical, it is considered as a sensitive material but uh, in terms of physical hazard, it's not considered as a sensitive material. Okay, the next raw material will be a wet floor. In this raw material, there is no significant hazard in physical. However, there is a significant hazard in terms of biological and chemical. So, we have identified that this raw material is a sensitive material in terms of biological and chemical, not for physical. 
Okay, the next raw material will be a skim milk powder. In this raw material, there is no significant hazard in term of physical. However, there is a significant hazard in term of biological and chemical. So, we have identified that this raw material is a sensitive material, biologically and chemically only. Ingredient is uh, butter. Uh, in butter, we identify that uh, there is three potential hazards, which is biological, chemical, and physical. Uh, for biological and chemical, it is a significant hazard, and for sure, uh, it it is a sensitive material. While for physical hazard in butter, uh, it is a non-significant hazard, and for sure, it is not sens it is not sensitive material. For this chocolate chip material, we find that from the physical aspect, there is no significant hazard but from the biological and chemical, there is a significant hazard. So, uh, this material is a sensitive material. So, we identify that from the physical aspect, there is no sensitive on this material. But from the aspect of biological and chemical, the material is sensitive. Uh, in baking soda, uh, we identify that there is no biological and chemical hazard, but it only have physical hazard, which is the absence of small stone. And also in uh, physical hazard in baking soda, uh, it is not significant hazard and a non-sensitive material. Sugar, is this a significant hazard? Uh, from biological and chemical, sugar is a significant hazard but from aspect physical, sugar is not a significant hazard. Is this material is sensitive? For biological and chemical, sugar is a sensitive raw material but for physical, sugar is not a sensitive raw material. Um, artificial vanilla extract Okay, uh, in this substance, we found that there is no significant hazard in the biological, uh, chemical and physical aspect. We conclude that artificial vanilla uh, extract is not a sensitive material. Next, for packaging material, we use plastic. And we found that there is uh, only a chemical hazard exists, but it is not considered as a significant hazard. And for sure, it is not a sensitive material. The packaging material that we use is a box. So, the box is not a significant hazard from the aspect of chemical, biological, and physical. Box, the box also is not clarified as a sensitive material from the aspect of biological, chemical, and physical. The first processing step is receiving. Okay, for the receiving uh, process step, we found that there is no significant hazard in the uh, biological, chemical, and physical aspect. Okay. And then we conclude that this uh, receiving process step is not a critical control point. Waking process in this process step, we find that in the biological and physical hazard, there is a significant hazard for this process step. And then is this process step is critical control point so we identify that this process step is not a critical control point in the process the next process step is mixing as we know mixing is a process of combining all of the raw material in order to produce the final product and we have found out that in this process there is no significant hazard in terms of biological chemical and physical and we also have decided and identified that this process is not a critical control point at all. Okay. For the next process step is wire cutting. Uh, in this wire cutting process, uh, we find that there is no biological hazard but it is only half um, chemical and physical hazard. Uh, for physical and chemical hazard, uh, there is not significant hazard and also it is not critical control point okay so for the next step is the baking step okay in the baking step 
um, there is no significant hazard for biological, chemical and physical aspect. But we found that the baking step is a critical control point. Next is cooling process. In this step, we found that there is a potential hazard exists which is under the biological and physical. So what we found, the significant hazard is only in the biological as aspect but not for the physical. From this, we identify that this process is considered as critical control point. For a packaging step, we identify that this process is not clarified as a significant hazard from the aspect of biological and physical hazard. So, is this process step is identified as the critical control point. So, we identify that this process step is not clarified as a critical control point. Storage. From we identify from biological and physical storage is not a significant exit and also we identify that um, storage is not a critical control point. Okay, so for the next is HACCP summary plan. Okay, so the first um, critical control point that we found is um, baking. Uh, okay, in baking step, what we do in order to ensure um, this process in uh, comply with the safety food requirement is we have monitored it by what to do, how to do in the baking step, frequency which is like uh, every two hours what we must do and we list who is responsible for this uh, step so uh, as you can see here in this slide we um, this is the step on how we can prevent any possibility of ha um, significant hazard for cooling process what we need to do in order to ensure this process step is in a good condition and comply with the food safety requirement is we conduct a monitoring system by listing what the actual temperature need to be monitored how it can be done such as by using a calibrated thermometer and it is need to be monitored each of the batch by the production director or quality control and all of these steps need to be verified and recorded so as stated in the slide, that is the way taken in order to prevent and avoid from any potential hazard occur. Finally, we have come to the conclusion. HACCP is a good strategy that has been implemented to avoid and reduce food safety threat accidents. HACCP helps businesses to adapt methods of prevention and detection to their application also allowing them the ability to implement new strategies and technologies more easily. For your information, by applying HACCP, our organization has developed high-quality cookies to ensure that the risk of hazard is reduced. Finally, with the implementation of HACCP in our products, it will boost consumer trust in our products. That's all from us. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.